hello and in this video we are going to be considering how to actually design a share wall that supports both axial load and lateral load successfully using a special automatic containment option successfully so stay connected as we may progress into the presentation so in a share wall structure like this you have to take note of very important function of a shear wall okay so a shear wall is meant to actually uh, resist axial and lateral loadings lateral loading consists of the wind load while the axial load is the combination of the slab load as well as the load from the beams okay so you can see that this particular shear wall in these provisions actually withstand uh, the load from the beams as well as the slab okay so it is a axial load on this shear wall at this particular uh, end uh, point, okay, or end zone. So this provision is an end zone. So if it is not designed properly, it is going to actually fail. So I want to be showing us how you can be able to carry out the designs. And then there is a special provision meant for this type of uh, design report and structure 2024 versions, which is what we are going to be looking at successfully. Okay, so now we will be navigating to the physical model right here. So here is the physical model. Come on, we get to the 3D of the physical model. Okay, and now we get to the story tree. This structure has been analyzed successfully. All right, so if I navigate to where I have an analysis provisions, the tab you see here is the main the structure is analyzed. All right, so now I want to navigate to the plan view of story tree. So we look at how we can design the end zone of this uh, uh, share wall successfully. The center will be applicable to all of this, but we'll use this for the uh, presentation. This wall, okay, and then we can look at this as well. So if you select over here, you can see the share wall fed actually okay so if i right click on this okay i can be able to navigate to the sections selected successfully okay so i click here and then this will actually show me the section selected so this is this particular section selected i can close this come to share walls right click and then i can also enable active story windows that consists of all the share wall on this story successfully just like this okay so i will be navigating you can see the utilization ratio right there some as actually uh beyond one and some are below one okay and then some of the shower wall has passed successfully while some at fed so if you do a kind of column design bash mode right here we select all that and then calculate and then you give it some time if you calculate successfully it is completed click on the close options you see the shower wall are still failing close there Okay, and then we navigate, select this particular one. We want to actually interact with this. Okay, so we will navigate to the uh, properties right here using the sections options. Okay, to have this. Now, if I do interactive design from here, you can see warning right here, still mass limit. Okay, exceed it. So there is no way it is going to design. The reason is because it's been supported a very heavy axial load. That is why it is actually failing so you have to after uh, you have to generate reinforcement like the distribution reinforcement as end as 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 well as the end zone reinforcement successfully before it can be designed so come to the real bank layout provisions so this is the polyline columns editor i can expand this to see it very well so these are the end zone being highlighted these end zones okay which is where we have the most optimum stressed or the total stressed that consists of the axial load successfully so now we have to go to the settings make sure it is checked you can see you can use this provision to turn the end zone on and off successfully just like this after we get back to still lay out tab click on this automatic containment this automatic containment options not all total structure 2024 asset okay so you should know the one you get so that we can be able to have these options to be able to use it to generate your first message successfully so over here we can see general parameters and then the corner bars diameter 
So with this, just click on the OK options to have this uh, distribution reinforcement inside of the uh, shell wall generated for both the end zone and the web successfully. As you can see, okay, to so further reinforce the end zone successfully due to the axial load in order for you to be able to withstand the amount of axial load that actually uh, causing much stress right at the end zone you have to get back to the automatic containment options and then activate this add head zones okay so the percentage right here is between 20 and 10 and then this is just one percent that is the end zone rebalance ratio should be one percent have this provision checked successfully and click on the ok options so you cannot see the reinforcement that actually take place at the end zone so with this design it simply means this can support the axial load successfully so this end zone is not being designed as a column but it all all the same a shower but the end zone designed as a column as you can see to withstand the axial load successfully while the web uh, zone you can see is being designed with a uh, distribution reinforcement i can as well continue to place some uh, share reinforcement right here okay i can click here and then i place a share reinforcement just like this and then i continue to place it if i'm not okay with these ones okay so these are the share reinforcements and they work successfully okay so this is how you can be able to carry out this type of uh, uh share wall okay that is subjected to actual load and lateral loading successfully if you click on the okay options over here you will notice that uh, you have to also proceed because the u ratio have actually changed successfully but you just have to carry out an interactive design right here so you see reinforcement has been generated successfully design has passed okay so click on the okay options get back to the ribbon layout again so this is how the hands is being uh, designed right now but you can still make it up add it okay and then activate and change the percentage to 10 percent click on the okay options to actually have it just like this at this point you can click on the okay you still have your reinforcement click on okay options all right so that wall has actually passed design successfully okay the same predicting you have to do for the uh main shower room for shower wall for the uh lift well you can get that selected and then right click you come to where you have the sections uh design so if you do interactive design you still have warning so you don't have to proceed interactive design come to the real by layout and then click in these provisions and then click on the OK options to have the web read bar or reinforcement generated successfully just like this after we click on the OK options and then interact again after which click on the OK option having generated reinforcement necessary okay, for the web and the end zone get back to the layout again to reinforce the end zone for the set of the axial load it is carrying okay click in this provision of automatic containment and then activate the head zone okay click on the tie bars in along directions and then put pass at short edge change this percentage to 10 percent successfully and then click on the okay options to have it be reinforced just like this you can see after we click on the okay options and then you have a detailed reinforcement of the end zone and as well as the web uh, of the uh, share and the core walls successfully Click on the OK options. All right. So this is how you can be able to design the shower hand zone as well as the web zone successfully to withstand a very heavy axial load. So okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. And then if you have any question, you can drop it in the comment sections. We'll see in the next presentations. Stay connected and stay safe. Bye for now.